Yesterday proved to be an epic day for Armored Core Faithful, as From Software uncorked a new trailer. We now have a firm release date, and producer Yasunori Agura gave us some more details as to what to expect when Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon drops later this year. Let's dive right in and take a look at all the new information. What's going on everybody? I'm Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer and welcome to the channel. Well, it's been 11 long years since the last installment of the Armored Core franchise was released, but the wait is nearly over. As Armored Core 6 has now been announced as dropping later this year, August 25th, on both current and last gen consoles, as well as PC. Which, in itself, is an interesting point. According to Agora, AC6 began early production in 2018, nearly two years before the current PS5 and Xbox Series X went on sale, hence it being available on both last and current gen hardware. But before we dive into more of the details about this game, combat, and story, let's take a quick look at yesterday's trailer. Handler Walter verified. Activating cerebral coral control device. Six two one has awakened. Addressing the long period of time since the last Armored Core title launched, and how long this game has been in development, Agora explains it was never a matter of if From Software would make another Armored Core title, it was a matter of when. But with simultaneous projects ongoing within the studio, see Elden Ring, it took longer to get the right resources and manpower on board before tackling the project. 
Through the Agora interview and the trailer itself, we get a better sense of the story. And Armor Core 6 will follow the traditional single player PvE campaign format of previous Armor Core games, although there will be an online PvP element. Now you will play as a mercenary pilot sent to Rubicon 3 in search of Coral, a mysterious new substance that triggered a disaster raising the planet to cinders nearly a half century before our story begins. While the effects of that previous disaster can still be seen in the upper atmosphere, as they still burn from that event. Now as the story unfolds, it is learned that Coral has now reappeared triggering an extraterrestrial invasion race with different factions all attempting to acquire the rights to this powerful new substance. We are then thrust into this battle between indigenous and invading factions with Coral as the motivation for conflict. Now, although Armored Core 6 is indeed a numbered title, it will not be tied to previous Armored Core games in terms of plot, so newcomers will have the opportunity to jump right in. There will also be an emphasis on an optional tutorial section, serving as an onboarding program for new players to the franchise. Two distinct features of the series have always been dynamic three-dimensional gameplay featuring a massive arsenal of weaponry and unrestricted movement, and the ability to completely customize your mech based on your personal preferences and mission parameters. Based on the trailer footage, we now have a better sense of the style of combat that will be featured in Armor Core 6, and whereas past AC titles were more shooting games, this installment seems to embrace much more melee combat than we've seen in the past. Agora mentions the ability to combo moves together, for instance, firing a volley of rockets to stagger a target, and then quickly dashing in to finish them off with a devastating melee attack. There was also this interesting bit to the trailer where this quadruped mech fires off what looks like a radar pulse, identifying all targets within range before reconfiguring and taking flight, releasing a devastating aerial assault from above. Now diving into the customization even further, Agora specifically points towards the legs portions of the mechs, showcasing this tank tread base, allowing for drift style maneuvers, increasing speed while tackling more horizontal and flat missions, even at one point ramming an enemy mech battle line, absolutely decimating their defenses. And finally, Armor Core 6 seems to have embraced a new style of fluid mech combat, as evidenced by this clip. Here we see one mech using an energy shield and flamethrower, while another leaps through the air, wielding what looks like an energy whip melee weapon. And then there are these epic boss battle scenes, giant boar worms, multiple mech engagements at once, bosses with not only increased sizes, but multiple attack patterns and weaponry. But as we take on these giant bosses, we're not always alone, as we see another mech joining forces with us for one boss battle in particular. If you're interested in pre-ordering Armored Core 6, better get out your wallets, because it's going to range from the standard version at $59.99 all the way up to a staggering $450 for the premium version, including a steelbook and 12-inch collectible figurine with Garage. As always, I'll leave a link to this trailer, the IGN Agora interview, and the Bandai Namco website in the video description, in case you're at all interested. As always, leave me your feedback about anything Armored Core related. Are you interested in Armored Core 6? Let me know. If you happen to like the video, please consider hitting the subscribe button. And while you're at it, ring the notifications bell to stay up to date on all things Armored Core related. You can find and follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and over in my open community Discord server, links to all of which can be found in the video description and pinned comments below. Shout out to the over 119,000 of you that have taken the leap and hit subscribe. And as always, a special thanks to my patrons over on Patreon. Until the next one, this is Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, signing off.